Hello and welcome to today's webinar where we take a look at the update to the Autest buying process. My name is Nathan Brownsword, the Sales and Marketing Director for Man and Machine UK. And I think it's really important that I explain in terms of the changes um, that are starting to come down track from Autodesk and also with a, a very recent announcement around when the dates were are going to be for, for this to be finalised. It's important that we educate all of our customers, be it old or new, to really understand um, what the changes mean and how your organization uh, will be affected. I think first things first, this is an update to the all test buying process. So it isn't anything to be worried about. There are some things that the team are doing um, to really support our customers. So it's always important that if you do have questions, then feel free to get in touch with the team. We also have the chat box available um, within the webinar today. So please put your questions in um, as and when you think of them, by all means, as many questions as you feel is relevant uh, to get the answers that you're after. Um, and hopefully um, over the course of this session and at the end, um, we'll be able to answer um, everything that you, um, you you drop into us. So let's take a look then. So the Autesk buying process, um, there is an update that's coming down track and it's important that you understand um, over the next few days, weeks, and especially the next couple of months, what you need to do um, and what you need to be aware of. It's important that when we look at the Autodesk changes, um, actually, this is, there's been a lot of changes going on over the last few years. Um, move, moving from perpetual to subscription, network licenses to single user. We're also starting to see the introduction of Autodesk uh, platform services. If you look behind me, you'll be able to see um, the three personas in Fusion, Former and Flow, Fusion for the design and manufacturing market, Former for the construction side, and Flow for that media entertainment aspect. Autisk um, announced last year that they are integrating and providing a lot more fluidity between the different programs. Now, this all, all, this typically means, or to keep it very simple, is about the connectivities between APIs to enable information to pass from one program to another or from one organization to another um, and ensure that um, there isn't anything being missed. It's really interesting to see these uh, platforms take shape and we're starting to see that actually what Autesk are doing with the licensing side, which we're going to talk about very shortly, all of this starts to tie in with one another to make your experience uh, far greater. It's also important that man and machine support you along the way um, and understand actually what, or, or understand but advise what's best for you. Um, so if you're already using these programs, fantastic. Keep looking out for the advancements that come. We're running a lot of webinars um, and different sessions with um, man and machines, M words. We run it weekly where we take a look at all the latest and greatest bits that are due out and coming down track. Um, but by all means, with the platform services being introduced and already taken shape, it's important that we start to look at actually what's right for you. And for a lot of organisations, this is the catalyst to understand rather than renewing your subscriptions year after year after year to actually assess what you need, what is required by the team, and we can um, be or we can offer that expertise as when you need it. So the current buying process then. So if there's an update to the Autodesk buying process, um, what does the current buying process look like? So really easy diagram behind me and where you can see in terms of actually from your, uh, for yourself, you've been working with Man and Machine uh, for a number of years, buying your software subscriptions and your services from Man and Machine. That isn't gonna change. Um, I suppose there's a, sm a very small aspect that will be updated. Um, but what typically happens is Man and Machine then have to work with distribution and also Autodesk just to get these uh, software uh, licenses delivered. Now, or, or, or more often is the case is actually when it comes to ordering software, typically the order is, is often placed actually when you need, uh, as and when you uh, need it. And there can be some delays in terms of hours or days in terms of getting those software subscriptions fulfilled and through to you. Now, on any project and also given the state of um, work, or the climate that we've been working in the last few years, I, I know and I've been working with a lot of customers that require software, um, a drop, not a drop of a hat, but they need it um, as quickly as possible. And the update will help provide this. So a little bit more background in terms of actually what this change means. So for those customers or for any customers that are joining the webinar that are familiar with Flex licensing, this follows um, the model that was released in, I think it was about March 2023, so just over a, a, a year now. Um, and what it means is actually that diagram that you just see it's, or you saw on the, um, the previous slide, there is a better connectivity between the customer, between man and machine, and also with Autodesk. 
With Flex, this was announced in terms of the change where you're able to buy and procure the licenses or we, we would actually send the quotation through to you um, and you buy and you transact that directly on Autodesk. So this actually happened originally in Australia in October 2022. And slowly but surely, we started to see this being uh, released um, in the US, Canada, also in MIR, as I mentioned, um, in March 23, and then also in Japan, um, well, just literally a year ago. So flex licensing, a little bit different to what we just saw on the previous slide. Um, the customer, you would work with Man and Machine to identify what you require, and then the final quotation and also the transaction will be placed directly on Autodesk. So... What does the update to the current buy buying process mean? Well, for subscription licensing, it's going to be exactly the same. Um, this has already been launched in Australia, so this has been actually working or operating in a different um, part of the world for just over half a year now. Um, just about, oh, I think it was about a month or so ago, um, sorry, we saw New Zealand follow suit shortly after um, in March 24, and then just over a month or so ago, the US and Canada went live um, with... Uh, their uh, new um, or the updated buying process. Now, the date has now been released in terms of what it means for EMEA, and I'm pleased or say I'm, I'm happy to announce that that will take effect as of the 16th of September this year. So just over two months' time, or around about two months' time. And what it means is, is it's going to follow the licensing model set with Flex, that Autesk already operating, and it also means that all subscription licenses, um, whether it's on a guarantee or a, or a changeover. Um, there are some exclusions, which I'll come on to very shortly. Um, but what it does mean if it was a subscription licensing, um, as you have it now, will actually follow suit. So how does it work? Well, that's a really important point to understand, actually, the, the finer detail of how this exactly works for you and also um, some simple steps that we'll need to take. So at this point, I'm going to hand over to our technical director, Robin Beals, um, who will be able to show you the short overview in terms of what it means for you and also the environment that you'll be operating in. Thank you, Nathan. Autodesk is making changes to streamline and improve your buying experience. At present, you have the ability to purchase new and existing Autodesk subscriptions through Man and Machine or via Autodesk directly. Whilst that isn't changing, what is changing is that every transaction and payment for those Autodesk subscriptions will now take place directly with Autodesk through their secure checkout process. It's called the new buying experience, and this is how it works. As you do at present, you will work with Man and Machine in order to identify and make sure you're on the right solution for your organization. Several quotations will be sent to you during this process before settling on your requirements. These may include Autodesk software, other non-Autodesk software, and Man and Machine services, such as training. Once you are happy with the proposed solution, final quotation will be sent to you from both Man and Machine for non-Autodesk products and directly from Autodesk themselves for any subscriptions or tokens that are required. Let's focus on that aspect that is changing, which is the Autodesk transaction. The example that you can see on the screen is one such quotation via email from Autodesk. You can clearly see your quote number and information on the products quoted, such as the products themselves, terms, quantities, and their relevant prices. All of these details will also be attached within a PDF on the same email. It is important to note that you will need to set up Autodesk as a vendor within your organization. If you've not yet done this, you will find region-specific forms at the top of the email. Should you need support with this, either now, before, or after the new buying experience launches, please reach out to Man and Machine, who will be more than happy to help. At the top of the quote email, you will find both buy and review buttons, which will take you through to your Autodesk account. Once logged in, you'll be able to see any active quote directly on your home screen. You can also visit the billing and orders area, followed by quotations on the left-hand side to see all of your quotes in more detail. Here, quotes will display their individual ID number, as well as any other relevant top-level information, including quoted products and totals for ease of comparison on this screen. 
Remember to speak to your Mana Machine account manager before you continue to ensure you choose the right solution for your requirements. When you do eventually continue to buy, you'll be taken to the secure checkout where you can see an order summary and up-to-date totals before continuing to purchase. For multi-year subscriptions, today's total will be displayed, which will only be the year one payment. You will have additional payments at year two and three to make up the total amount due for your selected product. This particular quote contains a mixture of three and single year subscriptions, as well as tokens. You can clearly see this set out for you on the screen. Your details are automatically filled out towards the bottom of the screen, and you're able to provide tax exemption certificates should you be VAT registered and need them. You can then continue on to the payment. Whilst these differ globally, you will have some typical payment methods such as credit or debit card, PayPal or pay by invoice. Paying by invoice is only possible for orders that are over the equivalent of US$1,000, which is around £800. In this example, we will choose to pay by invoice, and you can see that it picks up the previously used payment details against our organisation, which can be edited if required. We can also see our payment terms, which would clearly differ customer to customer. In this case, we have a net 30 days to pay the balance due. Towards the bottom of the screen, we can add invoice notes and information such as a purchase order number if this is required. Once you are ready to proceed, review and submit the order. This will start any relevant instant payment or credit check before the order is finalized. Upon completion, you're instantly taken back to your Autodesk account where you'll be able to assign users to and use your new product. Once again, the Mana Machine team remain on hand for your support needs. If you need any help assigning your users, configuring access groups, or with anything related to your Autodesk software, please don't hesitate to reach out. The new buying experience also brings self-service capability into your Autodesk account, such as to reduce the number of seats, any changes made will take place from your next renewal date. It's also possible to add new seats, which will be pro-rated for your current subscription period. You're able to change the term of your current subscription between three years, annual and monthly options as necessary. Finally, you also have the ability to turn off automatic renewal. This is an important point as it allows you to talk through your requirements with Mana Machine during your renewal period, rather than simply automatically renewing your current products. This allows us to work with you to ensure that you continue to use the right solution for your requirements. Mana Machine remain on hand to help you as your value added partner. Robin, for that video, I'm um, taking a look at the actual uh, Autesk account and how uh, customers can manage their subscriptions um, and really what that actually means with the updates to the um, new or updates to the all test buying process. So as you'll notice that when all, um, Robin was navigating through the uh, all test account or the, um, the account portal, or the customer portal, there's been a lot more features added over the uh, last couple of years in terms of from a reporting point of view to look at usage, to actually uh, gain greater control of your subscriptions. And this step takes a natural, um, I suppose it's a bit of a progression forward in terms of what you can do. Now it's important to remember that um, whilst all of this functionality is now available and it's, it's giving you greater control over what you um, can do, it's important to work with Man and Machine to understand and to make and to really assess whether you're on the right um, agreements moving forward. Too often has been the case, especially in my experience with um, Man and Machine and working with Autodesk, uh, customers aren't always um, aware or I suppose really able to understand in terms of what's the right subscription for them to use. So having those extra tools and functionality in there is no harm at all, but it's about understanding and working with Man and Machine and the rest of the team here to really be able to make sure you're guided properly. So let's take a look in terms of the updates to the autist buying process then. So as I showed you earlier, there's a graphic with four different um, four different areas in terms of the way that is currently being managed. And then um, besides me, you can see in terms of that, what that actually means for you. 
As I mentioned earlier, Flex is already operating like this. So you work with Man and Machine or the customer works with Man and Machine to understand and uh, realize what you're after. And then what we do is we then actually invoke the final um, payment or uh, order on Autodesk. So step by step then. So for you as a customer, it remains exactly the same. So request a quote from Man and Machine, work with your account manager, understand what you're after um, and actually what's right for you. As I said, um, it's quite often the case that actually what's one, what's one person's requirement, there might be a better way. And often it actually um, brings with it some financial incentives as well. Um, Man and Machine will help you identify the right solution. Um, we'll issue the quotation to you. So we'll provide the initial quotation for you and make sure that everything is set up as it should do. Um, where Autodesk and fit into it is upon acceptance of that quotation, we will then make uh, Autodesk or work within Autodesk systems to issue that order and quote for you to be able to transact, whether it's a renewal or new licenses. For you, um, you then have to just accept the quote and ultimately uh, make that final payment with Autodesk um, and everything is uh, real time. So licenses will be released or licenses will be renewed automatically and there's no lapse in time there. So again, as I mentioned, um, three steps. So for if you're anyone watching um, or joining us uh, for this session, about you working with Man and Machine, then with Autodesk to understand what you require and it's important you maintain that relationship um, with Man and Machine um, to give it give you the help and I suppose the service and support that you've been accustomed to uh, for many a year. What does it mean in terms of access to subscriptions? So actually as Robin rightly pointed out um, you can start to actually um, have instant access for new products you can start to actually have additional areas as you'll see on the um, in the middle of the screen that can really help you in terms of to make um, additional purchases. But as always, it's about making sure that you're able to um, get the right technology and the right tool that's, um, that you're after. When it comes to adding seats, again, really, really easy to do. So um, we wanna make sure that they're all added into um, the uh, current contract. So whatever agreement you have, and I know with a lot of customers, consolidation and, and making sure that things are in one place with one date, with one renewal point, it's really important. So it's about making sure that whatever license you pick up, that we're actually attaching it to that agreement. And ultimately we're not um, starting to have quite a messy license estate, which I know um, for a few of you joining, we've, we've no doubt helped you with. Um, again, when it comes around to a uh, renewal point, if you don't need those licenses, and as Robin showed on the video, we can just amend actually the total amount. And for the renewal point, it then means we take those forward rather than what you're after or what you have now. There are some exclusions to uh, the um, updated or the or updated to test buying process. A lot of it actually stems around government. So for anyone that's uh, public sector or has, um, I believe it's about half of the organisation either funded um, or run by a public sector body, then you will be excluded from this change that's coming up on the 16th of September. Um, there are some other exclusions around multi-user licenses. There are still some multi-user licenses for specific products and for markets where it makes uh, sense. If you do have multi-user licenses still, then these will be excluded. Likewise, for anyone operating offline subscriptions and um, where security is, re is really important for those particular projects or what, you're, um, you, uh, or what entity or what you do day to day, then again, they'll be excluded. We also have a few other bits. So there's a transition program currently for the water products. So any, for anyone that's using micro drainage or similar products and moving over um, onto uh, the Autest water uh, portfolio, with that change, it will be excluded. So it's important you continue to work with a partner. And there are some other parts as well in terms of non-agency products and offerings, Autest learning partners. A big one that's not on this list, but um, really important to bear in mind is the Autodesk construction cloud solution. So Whilst we're talking about some of the changes, actually in the scheme of things, when we start to list out the exclusions, um, it's important that you continue to work and, and continue to, um, I suppose, gain the help and um, advice of anyone that you're working with within our team um, and to make sure that you're supported properly. So there, be aware there are some exclusions. I'm sure that over time, there'll be some more updates to come, um, at which point we'll make sure that you are informed um, and you're aware of exactly what it means for you. So what's the important next step um, for anyone that's watching or has joined us for the uh, for the session? So there's a couple of important points. So the main thing is to make sure that Autodesk are set up as a supplier. 
although the changes do not take effect until the 16th of September, and at the time of talking, this gives us a couple of months between now and then um, to, uh, uh, yeah, until they actually uh, take, uh, or they are actually activated, it's important that you set up Autesk as a supplier. So to gain the information required, for some it could be as simple as just speaking to an individual in the organization. For other organizations, I appreciate there's um, different, uh, inf or it's different parts and different um, processes you need to go through in order to make sure that's done. So work with your account managers, set up Autesk as a vendor. It's then important that you work with the team at Man and Machine to understand what the update means for you. Whilst I can talk about all the changes, it's important that you understand what's right for you. Where possible, we are recommending that you lock in the price and the current process for the longer term. Now, I appreciate that's easier said than done for um, quite a few of our customers, but where, where it's viable, please work with your account manager um, to really make sure that we're maximizing the current process and the price. Um, there are some, uh, some really good resources that we've released recently. If you go over to our website and follow the link at the bottom of the screen, you'll then be taken to um, a really good web page that has all of the different webinars, the key changes, all of the updates that are listed. There's also videos on there as well uh, that can really help you in terms of setting um, Autesk or Supply will give you the information and, and the detail behind what you're after and also in terms of the plan that you should take uh, moving forward. You'll also find at the bottom of the screen um, as, or as you go further down the page, there's all of the documents there you require from forms to set Autesk up as a supplier to then actually starting to look at things like um, Autesk accounts or sustainability pieces, reports. There's, there's a whole, there's a, there's a whole um, raft of information you can find over our website that gives you the links in terms of tool test website to find that information. So head over to our website. It is the uh, update to Autest buying process. You can find that by clicking in the search bar and icon at the top uh, right hand corner of the screen. So I'm sure there's gonna be some questions. I know we've taken quite a few in this session already, which we'll, um, we'll absolutely answer. Um, I know that we've already started to, to come back to a few of you um, in, the, in the chat box anyway. So, a few common questions. What does it mean for payment terms? Now, that's something that I've been asked um, since we've started to communicate some of the changes with our customers. Payment terms, as Robin showed you um, in the video a little earlier, you have a few different options. You can either pay by um, card, which is quite typical for a lot of our customers. You can actually uh, request um, payment terms or 30 day payment terms. Um, that is subject to approval. Um, there are other things that Man and Machine are currently working with our customers and are going through to be able to support them because I appreciate that um, outside of typically uh, people and also your facility, the software can be one of the largest overheads for you as an organization. So for payment terms, if they don't fit for you, then come and speak to someone in the team at Man and Machine and we might be able to best advise um, what's right for you. It's really important you talk to Man and Machine because I've and if whilst there's not major changes going on, we want to make sure that um, we support every organization because as ultimately everyone works in different ways. What does it mean for the cost? So again, appreciate this is going to be a big point for uh, people joining the session. Now, the cost will go to or will be frozen at the standard retail price for Autodesk software. So that means um, that well, that can mean a whole range of different things for people. But it's important, again, as I mentioned, to go and speak to your account manager or call us into, or call into the offices and speak to a member of the team uh, to understand actually what that would look like. As I said on the uh, last couple of slides, we are recommending that you lock in the current price and the process for the longer term, and there are things that we can do to support you doing that. Um, it really depends upon renewal dates, but there are um, certain aspects or certain things that we can best advise on, and hopefully that can help you or give you some reassurance for sure. Expiry dates. So big point here. Um, what's going to happen? And I know this has been a common misconception um, with a lot of our customers. When a license expires, the access will be revoked. It will it will change automatically to show as expired, and straight away the day after, you will not be giving any le leeway in terms of access into that program. It will simply just close down and shut off. So it's important that your expiry date is your expiry date and that you should probably be setting it, um, uh, setting the renewal to be or to take place um, in the weeks before. We would always speak to our customers to make sure that they are actually um, doing this in, in due course and good time. 
We do have a few that I know can, can leave it quite late. It always depends on things like holidays and that type of stuff. But it's really important that you understand and moving forward in the change from the 16th of September, the expiry date will be the expiry date and the software will simply um, switch off. What does it mean for versions of software? So again, one thing which we're often asked quite uh, or an awful lot, when you subscribe to a piece of Autodesk software, you get access to the current version. We're now on 2025 versions of software, but you also have access to three previous versions. So 24, 23, 22. If you require um, older versions of software because of a particular project or people you're working with, then a request can be put in, speak to um, a member of the Man and Machine team, they will be able to help you. Um, so it is current version plus free back. If you require more, then please speak to someone and we can raise the case. We've gone through this process many times, so we'll be able to help you from there. Final point is technical support. So um, as many of you will know, in terms of the support that we've been giving you or the, um, the help that we've provided, it's, it's important that you have the right individuals around your organization to help you at times of need. This could be quite straightforward in the sense of adding a license or just making sure that you get, I don't know, there's a piece of software that's just not working, you can't sign in and login credentials, whatever it may be. We're there to help you as much or as little as you want. In terms of our technical support side, again, um, we have people that are localized in the UK that have worked on projects that are rotated in to work on a support desk and are able to help you. So they understand not only the, um, the answers to your questions, but typically the reasons why you're asking them. And that's invaluable. So we operate a one size fits all approach to our support desk. And to make sure you maintain that level of support moving forward, it's important that you continue to work with man and machine um, to, yeah, to, to get to, to utilize your software to the best um, of its ability. Um, I know that in terms of the support that Autesk offer um, as standard, typically isn't localized and it can be across in their um, main support desk in the US. So to make sure you're getting the response times you're after, um, continue to yeah make sure you're speaking and talking to a man and machine if you ever need anything. You have the chat box, of course, to ask, um, but if you have any questions or you require um, any additional help, then make sure you call us on our main line um, and also email us into inquiries at manandmachine.co.uk. All of the team are, or will recognize and have recognized that um, there are bound to be questions. So please make sure you get in touch. Um, I know just as, uh, besides me looking at the questions that we've had in, we've had a, a really big response in terms of some of the things that you've been asking. Um, rather than going to answer the questions, because I'm just conscious of time, I think it would make sense that we're going to get those questions out to the right people within the team and make sure they give you a call um, to talk this through in more detail. If you want to speak to us, so you know who your account manager is, I encourage you to give them a call or just call us on our main line, as you can see above me. Um, and we'll be able to help. So make sure that, yeah, we're going to be releasing more details as this evolves. Like I say, we started by talking at the start about the platform services and also um, in terms of what, when this takes effect on the 16th of September. Um, there's bound to be more things that are released, so we'll continue to update our customers through short videos, um, emails. We've been, we've been heavily emailing our customers recently to make sure you really understand what's right for you or what, what this, this change means. But if you do have any questions, feel free to get in touch. I cannot, um, I cannot emphasize that enough. It's important that every organization gets the help they require. So um, we'll make sure we'll take the questions away. If you have anything um, that you want to speak to us in the meantime, please get in touch with the team um, and we'll see you um, hopefully or we'll speak to you in due course. Take care.